About half of American adults have high blood pressure, but many don't even know it and don't even get treated for it. Those who do often don't consistently take their medication. At Piedmont Hospital in Atlanta, there's a new procedure to control high blood pressure. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has more. What do you think of my cookies? At 69, Paul Griffin of Noonan has been living with high blood pressure for about 25 years. Diagnosed in his early 40s, his doctor had put him on a medication, but he says that caused some side effects. So we added a second medicine, and then the second medicine became three. Soon, Griffin was juggling four blood pressure drugs, which gave him better control, but his numbers were still too high, leaving him at risk of having a stroke or a heart attack. Then, a couple of years ago on Facebook, he read about a study at Piedmont Heart Institute of a new one-time procedure that might finally lower his blood pressure. It's a very safe procedure. Dr. David Kenzeri, chief of the Piedmont Heart Institute, was the lead principal investigator on this study of Medtronic Simplicity Spiral Renal Denervation System, which was just approved by the FDA in November of 2023. The ideal candidates are individuals who remain with persistent, uncontrolled high blood pressure despite attempts for lifestyle interventions such as reduced salt intake, exercise, weight loss, cessation of smoking. That includes people like Griffin on medication but whose blood pressure is still too high at 150 over 90 or above. This Piedmont Healthcare video of the first renal denervation procedure performed in the U.S. using the system after FDA approval shows how it works. In a cath lab with a patient sedated, Dr. Kenzeri focuses on overactive nerves around the exterior of the patient's renal arteries, which he says are signaling to the heart and the brain to increase blood pressure. We insert a catheter up to the level of the kidney arteries. There, Dr. Kinzeri delivers radio frequency energy to heat up and ablate those overactive nerves. And this energy does not traumatize the kidney, the wall of the kidney artery or of the blood vessel itself. And again, by interrupting that telegraph system between the kidneys and the central nervous system, quite meaningful blood pressures can be achieved. Griffin had his renal denervation in April of 2022. There was no pain associated with it. The study required him to stay on his blood pressure medication for at least six months, but his numbers began to steadily drop. 21 months later, he's down from four blood pressure medications to one, and his blood pressure is averaging 118 over 81, which is ideal for a 69-year-old. If I can get it back into a normal range where I don't have to uh, take medication, that would be awesome. As a paramedic years ago, Paul Griffin says he treated stroke patients and he used to worry with his high blood pressure he would one day have a stroke too, but not anymore. That is not in the back of my mind right now. That doesn't haunt me like it used to.